I'm Dave Daly with DowntownSalem.com. We're here today to interview Diane Reevely. She is an instructor from England. She's traveled all the way here to Salem. And uh, Diane, from our entire community, can we just extend to you a welcome Thank to Salem? Thank you very much. It's lovely. Love it. <laughs> really nice. You know, when we announced to her to our community that you were coming, people were really excited. Yeah to know you are coming. Yeah. And with what you do and your expression in art, um, where did you learn what you do? And for audiences, give us a little bit of background about what is it that you so love doing? I, I teach art journaling. Um, I never had an artistic bone in my body. Mm. I was actually training to be a barrister, which is the legal with the wig, with the wigs and things. And I got chronic fatigue sy syndrome and I was, really, I was bedridden for a long time. Wow. And so I started doing bits and pieces in my bed really and I was terrible <laughs> I was really bad at it so I just persevered did more and more but I was just so proud whenever I did anything I was so proud and I felt so you know I really felt empowered in that so I started teaching children um, and I have a studio in, I have a teaching studio in England I have a big store that my wow. son runs um, and that's where it started, yeah, yeah, it just started from there. Well, this, this means of expression, um, why is it that there's such a big following for this type of creative outlet that you find, uh, and like I say, she's coming here to Salem and she's going to New York after here in Arizona, so thank you for making a step here in Oregon, but you really travel major cities, but what is it that you hear from those who take your classes that they so love this, this point of expression? They find it really empowering. I always say I, what I actually teach, is I teach permission and confidence. Mm. That's all I teach, really. Art journaling, it's taken us, it's been a slow burner, really. I love it. I love the fact that you do it for you. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be right. You're just doing it for you. And it's taken people quite a long time to realise that. And women, in particular, are so used to putting themselves last. Mm. They really are. They put everybody else first. But it's like when you have a car, if you don't put fuel in the car, the car's not going anywhere. Wonderful. So, to me, art therapy is, is it's feeding your soul. It's putting fuel in your soul. All. But everybody, when you see the finished results, it looks really, really complicated. It looks hard. Mm -hmm. um, so people are frightened of it. So the trick is to break it down into really easy steps and show people. Mm -hmm. You know, the stuff they've done this afternoon, at the beginning, they, had, they didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. And now they've just done this fantastic work. So it's just it's giving them permission. That's all it is, permission. Wow. Is there um, someone in your life who was a big influence on your creative process? No, <laughs> we're not. We've not been a creative family, but uh, but my mum did actually. But when I was bedridden, she I couldn't read or watch television or anything, and she bought me some plant pots and I used to paint plant pots. Mm -hmm. So maybe her. But my children, my children have been great. I have four grown-up children, um, and they they were so encouraging. Everything I did, they thought was fabulous. I've got a painting. I. Uh, was into folk art painting. I used to put acetate, do you call it acetate? Mm. On the top of the pictures and paint over the tops so I was tracing through. Wow. And I did this painting and I was just so overwhelmed that I'd done it and they got it framed and it's hanging in my studio. It was 1996, wow. okay, so that's 18 years ago. It's the biggest pile of rubbish <laughs> you've ever seen. Yeah. It really is, it's so bad. And people come in and they go, oh, did your granddaughter paint that? And I wow. go, no. I painted it, but I'll never forget how I felt mm. when I painted it. I, I just felt so proud that I'd done something. Wow. Um, and the kids, you know, they were so proud as well. So that's why I love teaching, really. I love seeing people so proud that they've done something. Wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to Christy here at Runaway Art Studio, what do you want to say to her? And, and comment on the inventory that she has here for local people who want to express in this type of mixed media. Yeah, it's a Christy has a fabulous store. She, what, she daren't ask me to come. Most smaller stores won't ask me to come because they don't realize that I do support the local industries. But to me, uh, your independent stores are really important. And what, what I was telling Christy yesterday, what's so nice about this is her, her studio, her teaching studio, is as big as the store. The teaching is equal as important as the selling. You know, having somewhere to come, learn how to use the products uh, in a nice, friendly environment. And she has a great stock. She's a good mixed media store. She has all my product, which is good. But she she, <laughs> she has loads and loads of mixed media and, and stuff in. And the stores are getting smaller and smaller. But, you know, it's been hard work surviving in a store. Mm -hmm. And Christy only opened 
she opened at a bad time mm. and she's done fabulous. She's Wonderful. done really, really well. It's a really nice store. Yeah. Well, for, our audiences, nice. for our audiences, what can we expect on the horizon for you? What's your next chapter? What can our... Uh... Just new pro I've got new products coming out at CHA in January. Um, I'm still travel teaching so much. I have an online class going on at the moment. A new book, new book coming out in January. Mm. So I'll just constantly be on the road with my suitcases, journaling. If you see me in an airport or an airplane, that's what I'm doing. I have my journal. Yeah. I'm journaling. It's my passion. It's me. It's my ambition to, to get everybody journaling. I think there'd be no wars mm. if everybody art journaled. Wow. <laughs> and over social media, can you do you answer people who maybe Facebook message you or email you yeah, questions? What's have, the best way to reach you? I have a couple of Facebook pages. My personal one, no. If it says, can I add you as a friend, there's no, there's no it's just my family now. But there's a Diane Reevely Dilutions page. There's a... Um, uh, Diane Reevely Society of Art journaling page. Wow. There's uh, a Facebook challenge page. So there's all kinds of different pages, and I go on them and look, and you can answer me on there. Wonderful. So. Yeah, tons of YouTube. If you just if you just type my first name in, yeah. I come up all over. So there's YouTube videos. I'm really really into education. Education is the key. So yeah. Well, yeah, thank you very much for speaking with us today and, and uh, adding such a rich culture of this uh, form of expression that's so healthy. It's a pleasure. And uh, nice. hopefully we pleasure. get you to come back other years. <laughs> and I don't know if there's a seat. My gosh, we took a photo and there was like a full house in here. But this is what we love, that people can get out and meet a neighbor next to them. Yeah. Uh, Lots of express and be creative on their own, mm. um, and that's what I always like—an environment where people feel free to come on their own. You know, and that's it. That's what's so nice. And they make friends here. They make friends, and yeah, it's a love, it's a nice store. Christie's right. cool. Well, yeah. thank you so much for talking with us today, and uh, we'll see you the next time. Works, yeah. and uh, for more great stories happening here in downtown, visit downtownsalemstrong.com. Thank you.